So you know how I did the all outfit showcase for Assassin's Creed Origins Hidden Ones DLC? Well, because there's only a couple outfits in the Curse of the Pharaohs expansion, it means I can get more intimate with the showcase. He said intimate, what the fuck's going on? Shut your fucking mouth. So there are two new outfits to show off. First of all, there's the Circuit's Carapace, and then there's the Servant of Amun. We'll get into both of these, and I'll show you how to get them, but I'm quite sure that these are the only two outfits introduced by the DLC. I know this because of two things. I can't find any in all my adventures, and your raptor hasn't made any fucking videos on any other outfits, which is actually quite helpful because now I can present this video with confidence. Right, okay, seriously, I need to stop babbling now and actually get into what you're here to watch, so are you ready to fucking go? <laughs> Let's do this. So the first outfit that we're going to showcase today is the Servant of Amun outfit. This outfit has an undead look about it, so Bayek's skin is slightly darker, he looks slightly more dead. I think the outfit looks cool enough, it wouldn't be something that I'd wear in the game, but you know what, whatever. In order to get this outfit, you need to complete a side quest in the Duat Afterlife. That quest is of course Shield or Blade, which can be found, like I said, in the Duat Afterlife. Whereabouts in the Duat, you're probably wondering, well, more or less around the Hall of Knowing area, that's where I found the quest, I do recall. Just do that quest and when you complete it you will be given a legendary outfit. The Duat is accessed through Tutankhamun's tomb so you have to be quite a high level to go in. I made a mistake of going in too early and now I have two rectums. What is this? Oh my god they are too high a level for me to fuck. Okay, right I'm gonna leave. Sin a bit lads. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaving. Okay. I've had enough of this shit show. You've all been great fun. See you later. Can I leave, please? Oh god. Oh, okay, apparently I can't leave. Right, like, fuck him up. Fuck him up, Bayek. Oh yeah, I forget, you can't. Right, sweet. Well, yeah, I well, humbly fucked it, didn't I? Because I can't, I'll get back. I've got to face down with the boys. Ow. Yep. I fucked it. So that is the Servant of Amun outfit, now it is time to go ahead and take a look at the other one. The other one of course being the Circuit's Carapace. I'm just going to say it here and now, I'm not too fond of the more revealing outfits in the game. For example, the ones that don't have any fucking trousers. Put some fucking trousers on, Bayek. But beyond this, the outfit's cool enough, I guess. It's got some cool patterns on it. It's got this really big thing going on on the shoulder. I really like the hood scarf thing going on. That's a cool feature. I could definitely see that heavy scarf looking better with a heavier looking overall outfit as well. But eh, this is what we've got. So in order to acquire this outfit, you need to defeat all four circuit bosses in the afterlives. For your convenience, I will show you whereabouts in the afterlives you can find these bosses. If you want to take an in-depth look, you can go back and pause. Once you've done all four circuit bosses, or before you do them, you can go to the spring of circuit here on the map. And as a part of what's required to get the outfit, you have to clear this area. In all five areas, including the Spring of Circuit, enemies can be up to level 58, which means that they'll be more challenging than your standard enemy, so I would advise that you be somewhat cautious or do this at a higher level. Regardless of which order you choose to do the locations in, you will be rewarded with the Circuit's Carapace. And if you're like me, then you'll probably use it once, check it out, and then never touch it again. But there you do have it. Those are the two new outfits introduced by the Curse of the Pharaohs DLC. Wow, we did that in under four minutes. So now you know how to get both of these outfits, what you need to do, etc, etc, etc. You now know what they look like as well, which is always good. Personally, I don't think they looked particularly special, but you know what, whatever. But anyway guys, thank you all for watching this video, I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter and add me on Snapchat and all that cool shit, because I'm quite active on Snapchat for some fucking sad reason. I'm a tool, and I will see you all very soon with another video at some point.